Hi, I'm Leland Cratcher, and this is my Sonex YX. Sonics aircraft was started in 1998 by John Monet. They are a kit-built aircraft either using a converted Volkswagen engine or an Australian Jabiru power plant. This Y model has a V-tail with a Y-shaped rudder. It has a cozy two-person cockpit with about 40 pounds of bags. These nimble aircraft can do about 150 mile an hour cruise while only sipping six gallons per hour. In this video, we're gonna to talk to Leland about his airplane and then take it up in the air for a flight. So let's talk to Leland and learn more about his Sonics aircraft. So what got me into aviation was kind of my mom and grandfather. Uh, my mom was a flight attendant all throughout me growing up, and my grandfather, and whenever he got drafted in World War II, wanted to be a flyboy, um, but he couldn't due to red, green, colorblind, so he took me to air shows since before I can remember, there's pictures of me on his shoulders. So it's kind of been always, or I've always kind of been looking up, that's what I've been told. So it was inevitable that I was gonna end up flying, and then for Christmas, when I was 13, my parents got me flying lessons to a local flying school, and I've basically never looked back got my license last year. Um, my mom got sick throughout later or the middle years of my life and so I had to put it down for a while um, but after she passed away I was able to start finish or start back up and finish out my license last year. Started looking at the finances of renting and flying and being able to take my fiance flying with me or friends flying and it was just so expensive club and rent stuff and so weirdly enough it was less expensive to buy an airplane and operate it that way so saved up a little bit and was able to invest in something and I've uh, always wanted an airplane that I've been able to do aerobatics in. Aerobatics has definitely been a love of mine uh, traveling around with the Iron Eagle aerobatic team so I wanted something that I could do acro in and that I could take some trips in and that led me to the Sonics. Uh, the Sonics this is actually what's called a YX as it has the Y tail uh, it's got the V rudder vaders plus a rudder at the back side to make it a Y. Um, so the Sonics Sonics is just a light sport experimental, uh, home built plane. And I fell in love with them when I went to Oshkosh with the Iron Eagles um, and saw the airplane and just thought, man, that would be such a cool personal airplane to do acro and fly air shows in. And uh, it's fully aerobatic, plus six, minus three. Uh, it does not have inverted systems, um, but it, uh, it's side by side seating, so I can take somebody up with me, which I love doing. I'm able to do all my like IAC, ICAST kind of stuff with aerobatics. So. Uh, IAC is the International Aerobatics uh, Competition, and then ICAS is Air Shows, Inter International Council of Air Shows. Um, so that's kind of where I'm aiming to pursue and kind of get mentored down that path. And this was a perfect way for me to get into a starter category airplane before hopefully I can end up progressing into more unlimited monoplanes and biplanes in the long run. To operate this airplane, it has a 120 horse engine, um, and it only burns six gallons an hour. So for me, I can fly for roughly 30 bucks an hour and I'm doing 150, 160 miles an hour. So it allows me a lot of freedom without having to invest a ton to be able to operate it whenever I want. Um, and general maintenance and overhaul is much less than your traditional kind of conventional aircraft. Um, and parts on this thing are very reasonable to get from Sonics or wherever else you need to be able to um, not hurt your wallet too much to be flying all the time. Because um, I've flown so far this year between my previous aircraft, which is also a Sonex, and this one, I'm closing in on 100 hours, and I've only been flying since March of this year. So I can fly without kind of thinking about it. Performance specs, it's a 120 horse Jabiru 3300 engine, um, which is a flat six engine. Um, and uh, it gets about 150 to 160 miles an hour at, and that was at 3,500 feet on my way home from Cleveland. Um, it was about 170 true and it burns six gallons an hour, um, and it just runs on regular low lead, so it's very easy to operate. Its range, roughly 250 to 300 nautical miles per, it's 16 gallons, um, so you have you know, a little over two hours with your reserve, um, but doing 150, you can cover some ground during that time. And then it's two seats, side by side, um, and this one does have a smoke system on it. It has a four and a half gallon uh, smoking, smoking airplanes or smoke system helper uh, smoke system on there. So the gross is 11, the max gross is 1150. Uh, it weighs 660 or 665 or so empty. Um, so full tanks plus me and another person usually isn't a problem. The same thing amongst the Sonics community is if you can close the canopy with a Jabiru, you can take off. So I actually just purchased it. I got it home from Cleveland on uh, just, I guess, two or three days ago now. And so I had about, I have about 12 hours in it now um, in this particular plane and it just it flies really really well it's really light on the controls um, there's nothing too 
there's no real weird idiosyncrasies or anything about it. Um, I can pretty much fly hands off and it'll, it'll stay, stay straight and true. Rolls at about 130, 140 degrees a second for aileron rolls and whatnot. Comparable to somewhere maybe around like a decathlon, super decathlon and is for the aerobatic world guys. But yeah, otherwise it's just a, it's a really easy fly and you can go up and just kind of have a Sunday flyer and have no pressure and just a nice, fun, easy, laid back flight or you can go up and push it and really do some more acro and um, it'll handle either just as just as well, uh, which is really the thing that appealed me to it. I think the Sonex is um, a little bit slept on of, a, of an aircraft um, as it's comparable to an RV, but not quite what an RV can give you. Um, I think that this has been a little bit overlooked and I'm, I'm hoping to kind of show what Sonics is in, are capable of. I'm in a touring band called Try More Mojo. Um, and that's part of what helped fund this here. Uh, got the, the shirt going there and I'm a full-time musician. I've been a professional musician for seven, eight years now. Um, and uh, I like to take my synthesizers up with me and go somewhere, land somewhere and set up, have some fun, make a song or something, put it back in and fly home. Um, so yeah, it's Try More Mojo. Anywhere, Spotify, Apple Music, um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. It's just try more mojo. You want to go fly it? Let's do it. Right. It was time to take the airplane out of the hangar and go fly. All right, master fuel. Throttle cracked. Parker brake set. Clear. All right, so let me make sure we're all nice, free, and clear. Okay, yep. And then uh, on takeoff, it pulls pretty hard to the left, so we'll be on the right rudder pretty good. Okay. Um, and then on approach, I'll probably sit like a little wide, just to make sure I have enough room there, and we'll be good to go. Okay. So do you have to have the canopy closed, I guess, with the engine running? Uh, it's better. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. I imagine but that makes it a little hot in the summer, though. It's huh? going to be here. Yeah. Oh, I'm, it's better. fine right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Glad I took my sweater off, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's my fiance in this car. How does she like it? She likes it. She hasn't gone up in this one with me. Okay. I just got it home on Sunday. Uh, but she likes flying in the old plane with me a lot. Okay. And uh, is he going to move? I'm coming this way, bro. Uh, but she likes it. Uh, we took a trip down to the Texas coast in my old airplane, and she enjoyed that a lot. Uh, she gets a little bit motion sick, so i got to be careful on the days I take her up. Right. But, Makes her uh, a bumpy day. Exactly. But other than that, she loves it because... Uh, she basically we don't have to sit in traffic right we, we left one morning right before rush hour traffic on like a wednesday to go down to that trip down to the coast and uh i, I was like we were flying over highway 75 and i just told her to look down there was a big traffic jam she was <laughs> like i officially love aviation yeah I was like, that's kind of what i thought you'd say yeah that's good not stuck in traffic not stuck in traffic so the jabiru jabiru how do you say it J jabiru 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 yeah now is that a Australian. Australian. Is Australian. it? It's an, it's an aircraft motor. Is it? Okay. Um, it is, you know, not gearbox or anything like that. That's what I was going to ask. If it was gearbox uh, or anything, it's not yeah, okay. Yeah, so I have I have about 80 or 90, well, maybe, maybe 70 or 80 hours behind a Rotax. Um, and I like them a lot. Uh, but the gearbox is a little bit, it can get a little funky, you know? Yeah. Um, so it, uh, that's kind of what led me to wanting this engine. First off, it's uh, basically there's two engines that go on the Sonics. It's either an Aero V which is a VW conversion motor that right. Sonex has developed. So they bore it out a little bit more, has higher compression pistons, things like that. So it's it's the internal framework of an automotive engine, but it's not an automotive engine anymore. Right. Um, you know, they reinforce what they need to. Um, but then uh, other than that, um, the Jabiru is kind of the other option. And so, you know, it's 120 horse as compared to 80 horse. It weighs like six pounds more than the Aero V. So it, or I, I might be wrong on that number, but it's close to the same weight. Um, and uh, to get 50% more horsepower, it's just no question. Yeah. I just, for the viewers there, so a lot of these airplanes that are experimental, they'll put a, basically an automotive engine in it, and what they have to do is automotive engines make most of their power around 4,000 RPM, which is too many RPM to spin a propeller, so you put a gearbox on it to lower that down to like 2,500 RPM. Absolutely. There you go. Fixed traffic, Subasonics, part runway 32 to the west. Six. Traffic is now two five seven seven nine. Returning final three two four touch and go. Next traffic. Uh, 
I turned it on for him. All right. There we a little go. smoke coming back in the cabin yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Traffic, Tesla 25779 on the go. I gave him a little smoke, you know, just yeah. a little bit there. Hex traffic, Cessna 150 uniform. Charlie's departing runway 32. Hex traffic. Well, we're in the smoking section, right? Exactly. Yeah. All right. So we're climbing out at, we're fully loaded, pretty much at max gross right now. Climbing out at about a thousand feet a minute at a hundred miles an hour. Okay. Welcome to Asonic. What's that? So yeah. Welcome to Asonic. That's my first time in one, so yeah. Very nice. cool. All right. And we'll climb up above this inversion layer here. So it's just a really easy flying airplane. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome to fly if you'd like. Oh, to. that's all right. Yeah. Go ahead. All you right. Show it around. Yeah. So you have all your instruments in the one. The yeah. Little... So this is airspeed altitude. So it's basically flight instruments and engine instruments. Okay. What we're looking at. So altitude, airspeed. And then all my temperatures and everything here. Pull the power back some. The EGTs are getting a little hot. But yeah, that's to be expected on a day like today with uh, fully loaded and whatnot. There. What do you What do you normally do? Power setting on that? Uh, I'm looking for somewhere around 2800 for cruise. 28, okay. 2850, somewhere around there. Um, and that'll normally give me about 140, 150 miles an hour. If I run 2900, I'll see about 160. And that's burning six between six and six and a half gallons an hour. And I can pretty much fly hands off. And it'll fairly stable. Level. Yeah, I mean it's an aerobatic plane, so you are gonna be dealing with a little bit of roll. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not the Cessna hands-off cruiser, right? Uh, but it also can do things where you can roll a lot quicker. Yeah, that's pretty so, pretty quick on the, yeah, on the controls. And, and that was just a nice little easy pushover. You know, that's, yeah. that's nothing too too aerobatic, as you could say. Um, and then of course you always have the fun of turning on the smoke and do a little turn, and we'll see if we can't catch our smoke here. Oh, yeah. I can see our shadow smoking. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. So it's coming into the cockpit a little bit, so I'm going to turn it off here. Yeah. But if we pull around here... Yeah, you can see it right there. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Smoking up pretty good. We'll get it cleared out here. So there's a, uh, there's a small hole at the back of the fuselage where I was looking at through an inspection port. And I obviously need to cover that back up. <laughs> yeah. Go to a little IFR in the cockpit. Yeah, you don't need an IFR cockpit. No, I don't think so. But yeah, so it's just a nice little plane. Yeah. And it's uh, it's just really light on the controls, really fun to fly. Like I said, you can go up as a Sunday flyer and just cruise around and have a blast. Or you can, you know, really go up and push it into some macro. Obviously, the G-meter being right there. Um, it'll it'll do it. Cool. Yeah, nice little one. Yeah. And really good visibility here. That is one of the best things. If you look back over your right-hand side and me over the left, you can actually see. I know we can't look very well. Yeah. But uh, you can actually see the rudder baiters back there. So if there's, if you really need to be able to look back behind you and make sure that everything's safe, you really can. Yeah. You have a solid, almost 360 degrees of view. It's all made at an economy cruise right now, probably burning somewhere around five gallons, six gallons an hour, and we're doing 140 miles an hour in a slight climb. Yeah. So it really is. Uh, it's hard to beat the efficiency of a Sonex, That's for sure. What about baggage, though? I mean, how much baggage? So, you not very much. Um, right now, how the guy has it set up, he wasn't ever doing any cross countries in it. He had a cross country plane that he used, uh, that he did uh, his cross countries in. So this was his fun plane. So what? Uh, what I'm going to do is remove the little uh, baggage thing that he has back here. And there's a sling that Sonic sells okay. that just velcros right in, and then it's really easy. You can carry 40 pounds of baggage, no problem, and uh, it just gets right inside the the heart of the CG. So it's okay. really nice. Yeah, so just like basic flight operation, you know, just doing your standard steep turns and stuff. It's really just a nice, easy flying airplane. It'll hold nice and level. There's a, like a 60 degree bank. And then roll it back. It's very coordinated all the way through in flight. And this is basically how I spend my days, just tearing up the skies over here. Any Dutch roll tendencies with the, uh, with the V tail or anything? Not really. Yeah. It is because it's technically a Y tail. Uh, oh, there's right. like a little rudder there at the back, and so if I just fly hands off, you don't get really any of the roll or anything that's yeah. uh, so known for you know more the V tail scenario. Ah, uh, cool. This is one of the only Y plane tails that I know of, and that's kind of that's why they call it the Y X, is because it's a Son X with a Y tail. Yeah. And they claim that unless you have a rear view mirror, you'll never know the difference in flying it, and I'd say that's pretty true. Uh, 
maybe a little bit less of a crosswind component, but, you know, we're talking two or three knots. Yeah. But other than that, it's just a good little airplane. Cool. We can come back in over to Hicks here. We'll shoot it. A, we'll just shoot a touch and go. Sure. Kind of go around the pattern. Sometimes I'll be out here just like playing around over the lake and look up, and there's like a flight of F-35s yeah. over the top. Yeah. And that's a pretty cool thing, you know. Yeah. Like that's that's not at every airport you get to see that kind of stuff. Yeah. Make a call for him. Hicks traffic. Silver Sonics is just south of Copeland. We'll be joining the midfield left downward for only three two Hicks. Hicks traffic says nine seven 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 nine are turning left uh, downwind three two for touch and go. Hicks traffic. All right, I'm looking out for that Cessna. Hey, he's up. 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 I don't know where that one is. Yeah, so, yeah, one there that was just about the end of the field. I don't yeah, know where that one is. And then, Hicks traffic, Silver Sonic's about three miles to the west. We're looking for the aircraft that's just departed. Oh, we got you. We'll be in number yeah. three on the downwind. Yeah, there Silver he is. Sonic and Hicks. All right, got him right yeah. there. Yep. Hicks traffic, Cessna 257779, on left base, 32 for touch and go. Hicks traffic. There no, I thought that was the one in front of him. So that's the one in front of him turning base, and then there's the yellow Tweety, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonics, joining left down with 3-2, we're number 3, Hicks. And we'll just extend our downwind. Yeah. Is this guy uh, full stop ahead of us? He said touch and go. But I know that's definitely a student, uh, a school plane. Ah. So we'll make sure we'll we'll give them some space to do whatever they need to do. Craft on base, turn in final, and then we'll extend our downwind behind this. Hicks traffic is on two five seven seven nine er turning final three two for touch and go. Hicks traffic. Oh uh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, that's two five seven seven nine er, and then this is Tweety. So we'll just do a low approach here. Okay. And uh, do one with the smoke on for fun here. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, there he is. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonic on base, 3-2, Hicks. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonic, turn to final, 3-2, low approach, Hicks. All right, got him on the runway. We should be fine ah, there. Cool, there's a train coming too, that'll be a cool oh, shot. Oh, cool, yeah. Hey, he's clearing the runway now. Clearing the runway, yep, all right. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonic on final, low approach, 3-2, Hicks. Hicks traffic, that's not one five zero uniform. Charlie is clear. The runway one two. Hicks traffic. All right. Hicks traffic, that's not two five seven seven nine. Are turning left downwind three two for touch and go. Hicks traffic. Smoke on. Have some fun. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonic, left downwind, 3 2 Hicks. Oh, yeah, you can still see the smoke there. Oh, yeah. Uh, just curious, what makes it a Super Sonic? <laughs> uh, it's just a Silver Sonic. Gotcha. 25779, we're behind you, number two. We got gotcha. you, Silver Sonic. Hicks traffic is on 25779, turning uh, left base 32 for touch and go. Hicks traffic. So on that pass there, we were doing 170, you know, yeah. nice and nice and quick. All right, we're going to make our base turn here. All right, flaps coming in. Hicks traffic is on 25779, turning final 32 for touch and go. Hicks traffic. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonics is uh, left base behind 25779 or number 232 Hicks. I over talk whenever there's students and instructors on the radio just to make sure that they know that I know where they are. Right. Because I've seen some students like want to go around or like they start freaking out because they hear another airplane. Yeah. Because um, people fly pretty tight patterns here at Hicks. They'll, yeah. uh, they'll keep it in, you know, it's an uncontrolled small airport. So we will keep it in pretty tight. Yeah. And they take big patterns, you know. So. Right. Um, I like to make sure they know they got plenty of room. Hicks traffic, Silver Sonics on final, 3-2, Hicks. So I guess it sounds like I'm saying Super Sonic yeah. on the radio. Yeah, I thought you were saying Super Sonics for a okay. while, too. But yeah. Good to know. Silver. Good to know. I'm going to emphasize that lure. <laughs> All right. A little quick today because we got a little bit of a crosswind. Oh, 
No, it's straightened up. It's coming down the runway. Awesome. Floating, floating, floating. All right. Yeah, no, no sense of getting out the taxi wire runway early. That's, That's why way I just shoot a little down. fast yeah. and roll all the way to the end. That yeah. is exactly my strategy. Otherwise, it'd be a long taxi. It's well, a long taxi. <laughs> well, thank you for taking me up, man. It was I'm cool. happy to do it. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out and seeing the Wayx or YX. It's, yeah, uh, I love this airplane. First time in a Sonic. So pretty cool. <laughs> Well, thank you for taking me up. Happy to do it. Thank you for coming yeah. out. This was great. My first time in, uh, in a Sonics, and it was pretty cool. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. It's, uh, they're fun little planes, and hopefully we can uh, get some more people flying them. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you, man. Thanks. All right. And thank you guys for tuning in. Click that like and subscribe button and the bell if you'd like to be notified when we post a new video. And we'll see you on the next one.